I'm Anil Kumar and in this playlist we'll take up different kinds of questions based on rate of change. Here's the one which relates distance, speed and time. The question here is, a plane flying north at 600 km per hour passes over a town at 12.00 exactly. A second plane flying east at 540 km per hour passes over the town exactly at 12.01. If the altitudes of the two aircrafts are the same, how fast are they moving apart at 12.06? So, uh, as I insist, first step should always be to kind of sketch the situation. So, we are talking about two different planes which are flying in the direction of north and east, right? So, let's try to sketch it here. <clears throat> so, we have a plane flying north with 600 kilometers per hour and the plane towards east is slightly lesser speed, 540. So, let me keep this slightly more than that. Joining them will give us the distance between the two, correct? So, this plane is moving in that direction and here we have a plane moving in this direction. Now let's work with the numbers. It says a plane flying north at 600 km per hour passes over a town at 12.00. This, this is an hour's time, right? How fast are they moving at 12.06? So as far as the first plane is concerned, which is going towards the north, the time taken will be six minutes correct so so let's say plane one which let me call plane going to north as pn now in this case time which we are going to work with is 1206 take away 12 right which is which is you can say six minutes correct now what is six minutes let's convert everything to hours so six minutes means I mean, if I remove this, it becomes 6 minutes. So, 6 over 60 hours or 1 over 10 hours. Correct? Now, <clears throat> what is the distance covered in 1 tenth of an hour? Since speed is equal to 600 kilometers per hour, right? And time t is 1 tenth of an hour then the distance for plane let me say going to north will be product of these two that is 600 times 1 over 10 which is 60 kilometers perfect similarly let's write down the conditions for the plane which is going towards east now for that plane time will be 1206 take away 1201 that means 5 minutes correct or 5 over 60 that means 1 over 12 hours right what distance will that plane cover speed is 540 kilometers per hour and time is 1 over 12 hours distance will be speed into time just multiply these two that is 540 divided by 12 right so let's take a calculator to do the calculations 540 divided by 12 gives you 45 so 45 kilometers right so you have to work with these initial values and then you have to build up an equation and find the solution correct <coughs> Now, let's read the question once again. A plane flying north at 600 km per hour passes over a town at 12 hours exactly. A second plane flying east at 540, so this is east for you, kilometers per hour passes over the town exactly 1201. If the altitudes of the two aircrafts are the same, how fast are they moving apart? So since we need to figure out how fast are they moving apart, 
So the distance between the two planes is this distance. Let's call this as S. Is it okay? Now, both these directions are at right angles, so we can use Pythagorean theorem to relate them. Correct? Now, <clears throat> as you can see from the given situation, at any instance of time, let us say the distance of the plane going east is x and distance of the plane going north is y. In that case, we have an equation which is x square plus y square equals to the separation between the two square. Do you see that? The beauty of my solution is that I'm not involving those times at all. We'll do implicit derivation and then solve it. Correct? Now, let's differentiate both sides with respect to times. So we'll differentiate with respect to time. So what do you get? So I'm skipping a step but writing the derivative straight away. We get 2x dx dt, right? Plus 2y dy dt equals to 2s ds dt. Now, if you look at this equation carefully, you are given dx dt, dy dt. You have to find ds dt, correct? That is how we have to approach. Let me show you. As x is the distance towards the east, the rate of change of this distance, which is dx dt, is equal to speed of the plane, which is 540. y dy dt is speed of the plane going north, which is 600. Correct? So we know these two quantities. And we want to know their separation at 1206. So at 1206, we have also calculated the distances, that is, x and y values. So, in the given situation, what we know is that x is equal to 45, y is equal to 60, dx dt equals to 540, and dy dt is equal to 600. Correct? We can place these values and simplify. <coughs> Two's cancel, do you see that? So it becomes even more simpler. So I'm squeezing in steps after explaining you uh, so that you are doing what is required to be done. We miss to calculate what S is when these two distances are 45 and 60, right? So let's find out what S is. S will be equal to square root of 45 square plus 60 square, correct? Since that is the hypotenuse. So let's calculate this also. So we have square root of 45 square plus 60 square. That gives you 75. So S is 75. So we have all the values. Let's substitute them. X is 45. So we have, let me use a different thing. So we'll squeeze in here. We have 45 for X. DX DT is 540 plus y is 60 dy dt is 600 equals to s is 75 and ds dt is what we need to find do you get it so in this expression rather equation we have all known values and we can always find ds dt correct so let's calculate ds dt. So we have ds dt as equal to, multiply these divided by 75. So let me write down the expression. 45 times 540 plus 60 times 600 divided by 75. Correct? Now let's take a calculator, find the answer. So we have 45 times 540 plus 60 times 600 equals to, be safe. I didn't put brackets earlier, so I just did equal to. Divide by 75 equal to 804. So we get 804. Now all these word problems, you should always write units, right? We are change, change of distance. 
So that is in kilometers and time is in hours. So the unit will be kilometers per hour. Correct. So we have our answer. They are separating at the rate of 804 kilometers per hour at 1206. That should be your final statement giving the complete answer. I hope the strategy is absolutely clear. So my suggestion here is work with implicit derivations. Don't get into complications of writing x in terms of time. Okay. Simple equation as x square plus y square equals to s square is going to help you solve this question as we have done here. So we'll take a few more examples with the same strategy. And I hope by the end of those few examples, you should be perfectly fine. Feel free to post your questions and suggestions. Thank you and all the best.